quarterfinal number three is upon us. It's Uganda versus Zambia. I'm joined in commentary by Liam Middleton. Liam, a fantastic day yesterday. Today promises to be even better. Well, it's all about day two on the sevens tournaments. This is where it really counts. And uh, into the quarterfinals now, it's knockout time. Uganda kicking it nice and deep. Zambia do well to gather the ball. They seem to be working it out wide from deep. A skip pass and there's some space ahead. But good cover defense coming in from Norbert or Kenny. And the knock comes in immediately. So good defense from Uganda. And they turn defense into attack very quickly. Out on that short side. Desperate tackle. Uganda set up again. And they're coming to the right now through Masanga Zira. And he sends it out to Ogena. Ogena steps inside. Uganda opened their scoring very Point clinical five, in the early stages here. Yeah, just being able to keep the ball, moving it from left to right, keeping possession alive, little step in and out, and the score. Didn't have too much to do there, but first score on the board for Uganda. First score on the board, Zambia putting themselves under pressure early on, and Uganda, we saw that yesterday, they punished opposition who let them get ball easy, and of course the Ugandan support was in full voice yesterday. There's a replay. It got into the hands of Ogena. Not much to do, but he did it well enough to get his side. Five points up, kick is unsuccessful. So Uganda remain on five. Those two points are important in this game, especially knockouts, Alien. Absolutely. It's no longer about points difference, but it's about getting ahead of your opposition. And two points makes a big difference in the countdown to the end. Very high hanging kick there. Zambia again, don't take it cleanly, but it's knocked backwards. So Bualia can set that up. And he's penalized for holding on. Bualia hanging on to that one for a bit too long. And Zambia, Uganda do take it quickly. Finds Munyani. Munyani dots that the second. So not quite working out for Zambia at receiving that kick. Yeah, just spotting the short side there. No one on that side. Quick tap. And, and we're off for Uganda again. Zambia just not been able to get into possession and early in this game. And uh, Uganda just stretching their lead. There was the penalty for holding on. It was Masanga Zira over the ball in a good body position. He then took it quickly and found Munyani who had an easy run over the line to score Uganda's second. And again we see this they missed the conversion, so the score remains 10. Zambia not out of it by any means here, Liam. No, they're a good side, and they just need some possession to find their way back in, and this kickoff is critical. Much better this time by Bualia, and he manages to offload that, and Zambia do get some front foot ball for the first time in this third quarter final. Doing well to keep him up on his feet eventually. Goes to ground, so here comes Zambia now with an opportunity to go straight ahead through Kalumba. Big, strong ball carrier is Kalumba. Scored some very good tries yesterday. Uganda trying to disrupt that breakdown, but Zambia can take it quickly. And not an accurate pass, but they do go forward now through Chimbukulu. Chimbukulu offloads it quite nicely there. He's on his knees. They need to let him go. Zambia looking for opportunities. It's now with Kaushiku. He offloads it out to the right. Using the full width of the field here are the Zambians. And again at the breakdown, Liam Uganda just bossing it. Zambia just not able to find their way through that Ugandan defense. Turnover. Fortunately gone into touch here. And it'll be Zambia ball again. They're looking to go quickly. And they do. They know they need to get on the scoreboard, the Zambians, and they're desperately looking to go forward, keeping that ball alive. And it's with that man again. Kalumba goes through and scores Zambia's first try of the match. They needed to do that, Liam. He's the power man for Zambia, Israel Kalumba, just adding some pace and power to the end of that try. But they needed to go quickly there because they haven't been able to find a way through this Ugandan defense in normal play. So they needed to find a way to break up that defense, and they did it. Very clever play from Zambia. Once Kalumba got that ball, very hard to stop because of his powerful running, the leg drive. This time they couldn't get anywhere near him. 
and Kalumba was over for a very important try that Zambia desperately needed. Important now, Liam, for Zambia to try and regain possession of this kickoff. And they've certainly got some height in their team. Hamo Yua, um, some other runners who can get onto the ball, so they need this possession. Another score here makes this a real contest. Zambia kick it deep. Uganda comfortable under the high ball and immediately they're on the front foot. Show and go there. What a good show and go from Ofoyoworth. And Ofoyoworth steps on the inside. He's got options to swing it out to the left. He does do so. Gets favorable bounce. So they start again. They've got a reset now in the hands of Wokorac. Wokorac knows one way and that is straight. He steps. Desperate tackle there, but a supporting line from Casito and Casito dots down. What a try, Liam. Not the kickoff that Zambia wanted. You're going to get the ball. Early line break, and then it's that man, Wakarach. So experienced, high quality player. Makes a half break. I thought he'd go all the way, but he got snagged. Offload off the ground. And that supporting run from Adrian Casito. He knew he wasn't going to go to the breakdown, and Wakarach had the awareness to just sit it up for him. And no one even near him. There's the run from Wokorach. Thought he was through, but that desperate defense. And he had seen his mate coming through. Brilliant running line. Kasitu dots it down. In between the sticks, conversion is successful. So Zambia under pressure yet again and needing to score immediately. They've got to be able to take this kickoff uh, in order to get some possession early in this second, well, late in this first half in order to get some potential points on the board, otherwise this is going to get away from them. Now it is 17 points to 5. And that kick has gone into touch, so Zambia will get the line out. It's important for Zambia not to allow Uganda to score again before the halftime break here. Yeah, this is critical possession for them uh, from the kickoff. They needed to win that, but they've at least got it from the line-out. They've first got to win the line-out and then keep possession, just try and put this Uganda defense under pressure. And they do lose the line out to Zambia, and it's the try scorer, Kasitu, who sends it out to Okeni. Okeni gives Wokorach, who's running a beautiful line infield strong, and lets it go again back to Okeni. It's a play between Okorach and Okeni, and they in again. Well, it came from the line out steal from Uganda. That was possession Zambia needed, but Uganda got it. And then you just see the quality of Wokorach, the, the step, the, the uh, handoff, and just the offload to finish it. Here you see. Wokrach on the wing. He's a powerful runner, big man. Bumps one, handoff on the other one, offload. Uganda in. Norbert Kenny scores a try at the brink of the halftime break. 22 points to five with the kick to come. Unfortunately, it doesn't get the kick in, so that's half time. The score will remain 22 points to 5. Liam, you were part of many half time discussions. What would you be saying to the Zambians at half time? It's all about possession for them. They need to be able to control it, need to find some penetration through this Ugandan defense. So they've got to find strategies to do that. If they can't do that, I think this is going to be a hard game for the Zambians. Ugandans well in control. Indeed, they are well in control, and Zambia not starting that second half well at all. The kick not going 10. Ugandans to pick up where they left off in that first half. 22 points to 5. It'll be a big blow for the Zambians if Uganda score first in this second half. It's put into the scrum by Adrian Casito. Adrian Casito finds... Again, Philip Wokorach out on the right wing there, and he's done so well on that occasion to break the cane line, but the counter ruck comes in for the Zambians. This is good work at the breakdown, and they work their way up. Clinical run here from Elisha Bwalia, who offloads it, and the Zambians are tackled. They're going to have a chat here. Time is off. Looked like he's in. That is the placing. Was he not... Did he not have a foot in touch? And they're in, Liam. Just what they needed to do. Yeah, it's exactly what Zambia needed. Uganda launched from their midfield scrum. They've been really good from midfield scrums with the scrum off running. Uh, but the turnover, they're a little bit disconnected in attack, uh, Uganda. And that turned the ball over for Zambia. 
couple of offloads, and they're in that corner. This is exactly what they needed. Here you just see a question around the grounding. A very strong carry. Reaches for the line, and a score on the board for Zambia. First time in this game. Yep, that's uh, Chisangang Kohoma who scored that one. Very crucial try in the context of this game. It is a knockout game. It's a quarterfinal. And the kick goes slightly wide. Can't add the extras. Will Uganda be starting to get a little negative thinking, or do you think that try won't concern them too much, Liam? No, I think it came from you know, early in this uh, second half and from a turnover ball, but this kickoff now is really important for Zambia. You're going to be thinking about getting possession because they know that they can turn possession into points very quickly against the Zambian side. So it's all about possession now. Much better restart this time from the Zambians. Goes deep, fielded well there by Uganda. Wrestling his way onto the ground and again putting some pressure at the breakdown. But side entry says the referee. It's taken quickly by Ofuworth. He sends it out to the right. Good footwork from number 10. That's Adrian Casito who's still going. Eventually sends it into the pocket to find Ian Munyani. Ian Munyani out and Norbert Kenny wants to get a double in this game. Going for the corner. He goes. He's in untouched. Brilliant Fight try, Uganda. Uganda. Yeah, the kick too deep from Zambia at the kickoff. Weren't able to apply pressure. Tried to turn it over at the breakdown but conceded a penalty. And once Uganda start running, you're going to be in trouble. And in trouble they were on that occasion. It was all started by Adrian Casito. But once it got into the hands of those back three, Norbert Okeni saw the line. There was cover coming, but not enough and not in time to stop him from scoring his second of the match. Philip Wokorach also got the kicking duties in this case. And that is beautiful. He struck to add the extras. Outstanding. Those two points are so important. 19 point lead here for Uganda. And if the next score doesn't come to Zambia, I think this game is done and dusted for the semi-finals for Uganda. Uganda doing very well. Leading 29 points to 10. They've got that cushion and Zambia spots some space on the short side. An attempted chip, but Philip Walker couldn't get it over him. He's a tall, big, strong lad, isn't he? Yes, he's an outstanding sevens player. Been a great servant for Ugandan rugby. Very powerful. He's got pace, but he's got that height where he can offload the ball and fend. So put in here for you. Is it Uganda? Zambian put in Israel Kolumba. Israel Kolumba goes short, and that is some serious contact there. Shoulder down. Hard collision, and he's penalized for holding on. Uganda take it quickly through Davis Shimwa. Looks to attack directly, but good defense. They've set up Philip Wokorich at the halfback position. Sends it out now to Ofweoth. Ofweoth gives Okeni on the cut in. He'll be looking for his hat trick here in this game. Okeni, that's stolen legally by Zambia. And Boalier for the line, he offloads it to Masebo. And Masebo scores an important try here. But is it a little too late, Yelian? A little bit too late, but great work of the breakdown there. Just stole that ball from the middle of uh, the ruck and went on a great run down there. Uh, nice try from Zambia, but as you say, a little bit too late. Yep, they needed to do this much earlier in the game. They Every time they have scored a try so far in this game, Uganda have come back and scored to even add on to that. And the kick is taken quickly and it's unsuccessful. unsuccessful. So the score will stay 29-15 in favor of Uganda with about two minutes to play in this game. Time off, says the referee. Be restarted. By Alex Mwea. Mwea will be looking to send this 10. Comfortably taken by Uganda. Doing well to keep it in play. And it's direct from one of the big runners yet again. And another massive collision. The physicality from both these players, these teams, has been good. And here come Uganda yet again. Out wide. 
good footwork to beat that player. And he's got a clear run for the line here. Cuts back in, does Dennis Etwau. He's taken well. Good work at the breakdown by Zambia. They've turned that over. Brilliant work. It's now in the hands of Gabriel Mangalaba. Strong carry from Simpasa. Goes to ground. Coming the short side through Israel Kalumba. He passes it out, but uh, Alex Mwewa couldn't keep that in hand, so just not working out yet again for the Zambians, Liam. Yeah, it was looking really promising. You're going to go quickly with the, the line-out. They're just going to run the time down here. Yeah, I'm they're going to sure. do so. And Offworth does Ladies kick it into touch. Uganda have booked a spot Third in the semi-finals. They've joined Kenya and the home side, the Zimbabwe Cheetahs, into that semi-final. And the next quarter-final will feature South Africa and Nigeria.